Start, I'd like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nations, uh, the original custodians of the land, and pay respect to the elders, both past and present. Um, yeah, I met Melanie, um, was it just over two years ago? Literally, exactly, it's probably two, to the day. To the day, is it? Right, right. Uh, yeah, she had a very successful exhibition at Bank Street, and um, I was introduced to her by one of my artists, um, Rick Turnbull. Um, I think he opened the exhibition at the time and he said to me, Simon, you've got to look at Melanie's work, it's so fantastic, you've got to go there. So I, I went there and, and I was quite amazed by the body of work that she did. And so we had a chat and um, so here we are, two years two ago, years later, yeah. we have an exhibition. Um, on top of that, um, we normally ex exhibit overseas as well, um, to locally in Art Basie, in Sydney Contemporary, Melbourne Art Bay. But um, early this year, we went to Hong Kong for Art Central Hong Kong. So uh, Melanie, we're one of five artists that will be exhibiting in Hong Kong as well in March. So that should be very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but today we have um, someone fantastic to open the exhibition. You know, so um, um, she, I, I, I suppose she doesn't need any introduction actually. But she was um, a very high profile, you know, um, person on TV. You know, and then um, she's you know, like currently working as a director in media and communication. Um, but on top of that, she's very much into art and she supports art. Um, she's been the trustees, um, one of the trustees at New South Wales Art Gallery. So she had the privilege to pick, you know, the, the Archibald, Suman and, and Win Prize. So uh, I'm sure that would have been a lot of fun. You know, I always like to be the, the fly on the wall and hear what everyone said. Um, but um, she's also currently on the, uh, a member of the foundation as well. So she's always, you know, helping at least I was at the gallery. So I thought to myself, you know, how can we get a better person to open this exhibition other than Anne Forward? I'd like you all to welcome her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be able to talk about art anywhere, anytime with anybody. Because one of the things about uh, being involved in the world of art, as you know, it's really important to have the conversations about it, but to go and look at what artists do and to think, my goodness, how inadequate do I feel? I could <laughs> put a paintbrush and create a landscape or a portrait or a sculpture, then, uh, you know, but I do other things. So appreciating people's talents is a wonderful thing, but talking about art and appreciating art and looking at it and then buying art means that we can enable artists to continue their practice. Yeah. And the greatest thing that I can do uh, through my work with the Art Gallery of New South Wales, or having been privileged to be on the board, is to talk about art and to broaden the audience. Because, you know, it, it, a lot of people think that art is a very snooty uh, environment. Yeah. You know, you go to the Art Gallery of New South Wales and it might be a bit snooty, but actually, um, art knows no boundaries and art knows no barriers to class. You can be rich or poor, um, brindle, whatever, black, white, brindle, whatever it is, but, and you can appreciate art and buy art and know lots about art and learn as much as anybody else. So uh, when I was invited to open this, I was really pleased. And it, I was looking at the um, Financial Times this morning, actually, the uh, from the UK, and it was wonderful to, to be able to read Amartya Sen, who was the Nobel, Nobel Prize economist, the Indian economist and philosopher, was talking about how not every, no one is a single identity in this world. Now we talk about identity at the moment and we all talk about this and we see how barriers are going up because people are identifying with one core group instead of broaden, broadening the identity and being more accepting of others because we are not just one identity and I don't that this is not a multicultural and lecture by any means but <laughs> Simon born in, in born in Hong Kong and the Hong Kong Chinese and, and 
Papua New Guinea has come <laughs> into his uh, heritage as well, living in Australia. Melanie, a wanderer of the world from Barbados, <laughs> joining us here and living in this country. We we are not as every person, all of us has a has multiple identities. And that's why I think it's so important. And artworks do too, and the people in the art world do. And so bringing more of more people of more identity into our world of art um, broadens our uh, appreciation of that. So I thought this was a, this th th that's part of uh, the, this uh, introduction and opening um, speech that I wanted to make. But the other thing is that yes, you are a female leader in the art world. We love uh, <laughs> women artists, and you mentioned the Archibald Prize. Simon, and out of 43 Archibald finalists, that many of you would have seen this year, uh, 14 were women, so that's good. Uh, 18 of the portraits were women, but 14 finalists were women, so that's good. And I think as long as there's a mix of men and women, and the, you know, you know, I don't want to, us to be choosing them because their identity is only women. I want them to be chosen because they have a wonderful artistic expertise and they have a wonderful practice, so very important. Uh, but the other thing that I thought uh, about you, Melanie, is that when I read the biography, you are a wanderer of the world, and so you've come to us, but your practice holds many identities That's in right. any way, just yeah. because you've been all over the world. And I was reading um, Olive Schreiner, who was a South African author many years ago, and in fact, in that suffragette movie, remember the Mural Street, that movie, a couple of years ago? And they quoted Olive Schreiner, who wrote something called Three Dreams in a Desert, and part of it was that a woman wanderer goes forth to seek the land of freedom. And I'm thinking of you immediately. Oh, and Terry, <laughs> sorry. And you know, that's one of the things, I mean, this is about suffragettes. We're happily, we're, sorry. Much more, we're much more liberated than that. But there's a wonderful role that women who can be uh, brave enough, courageous enough to paint or to act or to become a nurse or a mother or a teacher or anything you choose as a woman, you are going forth and taking others with you to follow That's their right. dreams, right? Yep. So the woman wanderer goes forth to seek the land of freedom. <laughs> and she says to reason, you know, she says in her reverie, how am I to get there? And, there's, and then reason, the voice of reason says, well, there is only one way to get there, everybody. And that is uh, down the banks of labor, through the waters of suffering, there is no other. Now, we don't all have to suffer, but probably <laughs> artists do suffer for their craft a bit. And uh, there's a single identity in a way in there where you're just trying to push through That's right. that creative inspiration. But the woman then thinking, oh, I'm alone, I am alone. Why am I doing this for? What am I doing this? And I feel the loneliness. However, uh, as Olive Schreiner writes, she then hears thousands of feet behind her. She hears the sound of feet behind her, following her. And reason says, those are the feet, the footsteps of those who shall follow you. Lead on. So for women artists, male artists, all of us, it's a wonderful thing. You wander through your imagination, through your career, through whatever it is you do in your life. And uh, as long as you bring people with you, uh, lead on because we can be inspired by that and I think really uh, to broaden our appreciation to be challenged by what artists do to be uh, admiring of what you put on canvas the things that emerge and your landscapes are beautiful and no landscape has a single identity either mm -hmm. so you've got the parched piece of Australia you've got the tumultuous majestic seas you've got the black and white of the skies and uh, it's it's a wonderful thing. We appreciate it. We congratulate you, and I declare this open. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Melanie, would you like to say a few words? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. I'd just like to say thank you for a start, um, because as I look around, I see lots of familiar faces. You know. My, 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 you know, you talk about me as a wanderer, but I look around, I see all the faces of people I've met. My friend Kelly from the, the UK, my friends from Singapore, Cami, like we pretty much travel the world together at this point. <laughs> you know, just that level of support means so much to me. So I'm just going to start by saying thank you. Um, this exhibition was a labor of love. Um, I went to Bruni, a girl from Barbados. Um, you know, I'm so amazed, I was saying before to, about the landscapes here, you know, things that people take for granted, every rock, stone, um, storm cloud, I, I see it and, and, and I think it's beautiful. And so for me, it's just being able to interpret that, hopefully with a 
slightly unique voice and, 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 and fresh eyes in some ways. Um, my trip to Bruni was a very immersive and personal experience because you know, you're, you're there and you're away from your family and you haven't got access to the outside world as it were, and you're just doing what you love all day, but you think you think you love it, but it, it takes you through all these different roller coasters and moods. Some days are beautiful and some days you're, you're struggling with some new technique or elements, but you push through the other side and then you feel brave and strong. Um, so funny you should talk about being brave and strong because, yeah, there's new techniques in this show and I'm constantly trying to challenge myself and it's... You know, it's always nerve-wracking to put that forth and for people to have a look at it. But I really appreciate you guys coming. I appreciate your constant support. And thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So um, thanks again. So continue to enjoy the show. If you feel an engagement with um, Melody's beautiful landscape, you should come and see me. Thanks. <laughs> 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 oh yes, please. Thank you. Oh, oh. 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 oh.